Hi, I'm Tree and this is my review of The Man From UNCLE. So The Man From UNCLE is a project that has been in development hell for a long time, dating way back to 1993. It's gone through 15 different scripts, a few directors including Quentin Tarantino, Matthew Vaughn, and Steven Soderbergh. Finally, Guy Ritchie signed on and we have our movie. So it stars Henry Cavill and Army Hammer as two sophisticated and talented spies. Cavill plays an American spy and he must join forces with the Russian spy, played by Hammer, to prevent a nuclear bomb from getting into the wrong hands. It's a very worn out story, but there's enough fun in it to get by. Just barely though. Guy Ritchie generally specializes in genre films and comedy, and this is about the same. It's actually primarily a comedy, something along the lines of another spy movie this year, Paul Feig's Spy with Melissa McCarthy. It's a comedy genre film with a sprinkling of action and homage. While Spy used a lot of American humor, this is more British humor. It's pretty funny at times and there's a lot of witty banter and situational humor. However, I wish there was a little more action. The action is almost overlooked, sometimes even rushed through. This is all fine if the plot and characters are intriguing, but they're mostly bland so the movie doesn't have much to stand up on. There's not much that's memorable about this movie, I already forgot most of the story beats because not much happens. The Man From UNCLE is very much style over substance. All of the other spy movies released this year have something defining and unforgettable. Kingsman had its fun winks at classics and insane over the top action. Mission Impossible had its unrelenting pace and creative set pieces. Spy had the hilarious scenes with Jason Statham. And Spectre has the great directing of Sam Mendes and Christoph Waltz. This has... nothing really. It's a by the book spy movie with a few fun camera angles that are throwbacks to old flicks from the 80s. It's also over long. I really felt like I was watching the director's cut. I could easily cut around 15 minutes from it. There's not enough substance to carry it through the 2 hour running time. It's a fun time at the theater, but not much else. I laughed a few times that the camera angles are fun and creative sometimes, but it's mostly a forgettable and by the book spy remake. I'm giving The Man From U.N.C.L.E. a 6 out of 10.